right, how's it going, everybody? This is Ismorta, Ismo for short, and uh, doing some early morning Sea of Thieves solo action. So I'm gonna try to do uh, what I was able to do last time, which is head over to the Devil's Roar and uh, do some stuff out there. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm just going to. Uh, Get some supplies on the way, like I said last time, but really just beeline over there, just ignore everything. Um, I already have a couple of quests that I can do that I already picked up the other day. And just uh, show you some of that area and what it's all about, and some tips and tricks. And get to some uh, cool adventures. One of the things I was doing the other day was, you know, do I want to get any of the uh, ocean crawler or other Kraken stuff I don't have? And I don't know, to be honest, I'm on the fence because I really like to look at my ship, I really like to look at my character, and I'm not entirely sold because I like my coat and my hat. I still may do the uh, capstan that's ocean crawler, possibly. That stuff looks cool. The. Reaper stuff. I'm just like, correct me if I'm wrong. You can correct me in chat, but I think like this is like, I haven't picked up any of these any of these quests, but I believe they're PvP oriented, and I, I'm just, I'm really more in the the PVE of this game that I think is so great. Um, so I'm not gonna partake in it, but I'm gonna try to use it to my advantage. The fact that if everyone's doing these quests and ancient isles and the wilds, those sections of the map, then I should be pretty free to be do doing Devil's Roar stuff since the Reaper stuff is so popular and it is pretty cool uh, up ship upgrades you can get as well. I'm just not particularly interested. Really ship wise what I'm after is really the level 50 stuff that I haven't unlocked yet as well as the Kraken wheel that I'm probably gonna try to still get. I believe I just need two more kills to get the Master Kraken to unlock the wheel. I don't think you need Legendary, I think it's Master. So it's five defeats. We shall see. I could also take a look right quick. I'll show you guys. It looks like there's three different ones. Let's get some little supply edge. Come seeking adventure. This looks like there's three. And it's in one of those three different sections. Of course, I don't know. Unless it's you're just doing. This smells like PvP though. Or encouraging it anyway by putting up the flag. But you know that's what that's all about. Go follow your nose. Alright, so I'm just gonna supply up a little bit. Then beeline the Devil's Roar. Only because I can supply up there too. It just it's easier to supply up island wise here just because what, there just looks like there's more islands with supplies. Whereas the islands in Devil's Roar just have a lot more uh how do I say it? Lava? Lights. One thing that threw me off after this update is uh, I couldn't find a damn banana barrel because it used to be right here. And they moved it over here. So it threw off my game a little bit just because I had my you know my autopilot 
run to this corner to heal, but I kind of like it better that it's over here just because uh, it, it made it a little harder to actually run down the stairs and get anywhere over here because you would accidentally sometimes hit this barrel right here. So I do I do like the layout better. Just at first I was like, oh my god, where to go? Why do I not have any bananas? So I'm not sure if the placement changed on any other ships, but it looks like it was just a quality of life improvement. How's it going, chat? About to head over to Devil's Roar here in a sec. Let's go check right off the side of the pier real quick to see if there's any other easy resources than just shove off. After my play yesterday, I realized, wow, man, how many cannonballs you need for doing skeletal ships is crazy. No idea you can blow through so many so fast. I, mean, I had 50, and I was like, I ran out. It's nuts. Yeah, there's some. It looks like with the update that happened uh, yesterday that there's now Reavers gear you can get from uh, from Duke. A couple new uh, voyages looks like. That just happened on particular sections of the map. So today I'm actually going to try to use that to, to my advantage because I'm heading over to Devil's Roar. And since everyone should be in the other areas it should be free of players, is the idea. I believe the voyages were in Wanderers, Refuge, The Wild, and Ancient Isles, if I recall. Grouping stuff I'm probably going to do on a later stream, really for this one I was doing solo just to show tips and tricks what I do in Devil's Roar if you're venturing by yourself. Um, but uh, what I like to do team play for really is uh, if, unless you're doing it for the new voyages that are out, it looks like they are PvP slated, is uh, this, all the skeletal stuff, you know, the, the forts and skeletal ships. Uh, those are, you know, totally a lot of fun. And it's Especially when you have not only like other players, but also like alliances that are formed to do them. Cool. If I recall, I think the uh, the voyages go like one or two weeks. Should definitely be time to take a look at those.
unfortunately I'm going right at the wind, but let's see if we can't do a little bit of island hopping on the way to get some supplies. Ooh, I definitely have to go south before I... Oh, I'm actually really close. Great. Oh, because I came from galleons. Awesome. Avoiding the, uh, the shroud. You can tell when you get into it because the the river everything just starts like blood red. It looks cool. Just bad news if you're in it. I do want to attack sharks, but the only shark that I'm actually missing that I want to go after is the shrouded ghost. And I'm actually right now kind of dangerously low on supplies to do this. Because I like to have at least 40 wood, so I'm a little short. I am gonna ignore this guy. You definitely don't need 40 wood if you have more players, but solo. How many rounds? Like you. But I'm pretty close. supplies. And I'll take this route. Training post is a good place to hit up too. They're normally concentrated with barrels, also. Maybe the better place to hit up. Wow, this guy's still on me. It's crazy. He is determined. Normally they veer off unless, as long as you have it engaged, but man, this guy's all up in my face. I hope disappear once I get closer to an island because, uh, Sea monsters only engage you in deep water. Alright, let's see if we can't get some uh, quick supplies. That's cool that uh, in chat saying that you did Athena's. I'm still like really short. I, I really I only got in this game over the holidays, and so I uh, I'm like basically level 30 with everything right now. So I got ways to go. See if I can't. Wow, man, this yes. overlay is kind of problematic. That's always Long worthwhile to check just in case you get a good price on something. Nothing worthwhile. Looks like the deal's there, you get like 10% off. Seems like what they have is random. It's kind of dumb, like... They really shouldn't have it be random, but maybe just on rotation, because otherwise... You know, it's hard to, you know... It, it's not really incentive to fly out, to go out here to get a deal if you don't even know what the hell's out here. It's 
not like people are going to sail trading post to trading post just to get a measly 10% off. I can make that turn, but that's good. I'm not hitting west, I just want to go around this guy. Continue heading south. Again, if what I was told is correct, is looks like there's not P you can't have overlapping PVE events in the world, meaning you can't have skeletal stuff. I don't even think that's right. Like they were saying, like if you see a cloud in the sky, that then no sea monsters will sp would spawn. So I'm still trying to test that theory. Someone had s mentioned that, but I've not gotten confirmation on it. To hit up this island because on the way, and then I'll just heave my path, which I believe was Cinder, was next. I don't have a kitty that's digging in my lap, looking for, you know, the absolute best. Lap spot. Is he is key. See if there's any easy loots along the shoreline as well as getting some more. Uh, really, since I'm not doing PvP well, skeleton combat, I don't really need. Really, what well, mostly want to have is wood. This place has actually got a lot of wood. Let's see if I can't do another pass, actually. Forty cannonballs, not bad. 38, not bad. Let's see if I can do one more pass for wood. Maybe two. Just because of Vance right here. Now I think about it, I don't even have to stock up at Morrow's just because uh, I already have quests, so I can just do the voyage. I mean, I already have voyage, so I can automatically trigger them, so I'm able to do that.
get out in the middle of the seat and so I'm away from peeps and I have a vantage point and uh trigger one of these voyages to see what's uh on my plate. Got to set a cool flag, so let's this time. I'll keep my theme and go sort of like Devil's Roar colors. All right, southeast. I think that's actually where where I want to be. Let me just correct the map so I can see it. good. And it's cloudy. And I'm also near a rock, so I know I'm safe. So this is a good place to anchor, actually. So I can look at my map and think. From the, the fog and the uh, rock, it'll be a little hard to see. So let's go for the heat. I vote. I hope it passes. I think it passed. Just one quest. Maybe it's a chain or those two. No, I picked this one up. Shark tooth. Don't care. Uh, well, hmm. Not a fan of big islands and it only has one, but. I'll take a look. Otherwise, I may just chuck it and do the other one that I picked up. Oh, it looks like it's the one right here. Fletcher's Rest. Well, it's on the way. I'm just not a fan because I hate big islands because it's harder to find no visibility. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do this. Too much risk. Try the other one. The ones that I'm currently have, uh, they only cost 200. So I'm hoping this one's a little better. It's like there's so many small islands and it chooses the biggest island. That's what we got. But it is random. Ruby's fall. Okay, I can do that. I recall, I think that was on the right side. Not really that much smaller, but I just know Fletcher's Rest has this huge uh, mountain and I just hate it. Alright, so let's head that way. Definitely have super fog going on, so. Fingers crossed for the ghost. There is a ship in the sky, so we'll see if anything happens, because I, I am told that stuff shouldn't happen if that's in the sky. As 
far as the fog, really the best thing to do since... I mean, well, obviously number one is make sure your headings aren't going right at islands. So you're prepared there as far as your map and your build setting. But other than that, really it's being ready five at the anchor. So right when you see a rock to immediately hit, um, hit it. Just because, uh, because this is so dense fog, you only have five seconds before you hit something going at the speed. And you want to make sure you just stop and then you can slow do a tight turn and course correct before you uh, lift anchor again. Just having it at the ready. Same thing if you look at the map, you just want to make sure you, your glances are quick just because there's a rock. Don't want to hit it. See how fast it come up? Like this one just appeared. See, just don't have that much time. So. I mean, it is definitely cold fog. Like, I think it's awesome. So it is, uh, it is dangerous. So whatever you do, you just want to do it quick. Ruby's fall. I still have good heading, so I'll just go south after I pass this guy. I mean, we are ready for adventure. And now we're sailing through peace soup fog. God knows what's on the other side. Currently headed to the Devil's Roar. Well, actually, I'm in the Devil's Roar. But heading to Volcanic Islands for that oh so sweet treasure. Fall is right here. Actually. I mean, it is so definitely Campbell's. No uh, fireballs flying through the sky yet, so you know that's always a plus. If you get a fireball to the face, uh, you're going to have a bad day. I think that's the island I want right here. Looks like there's some eruption over there. Some uh, volcanic ejaculation, as you can see. So, let's see. I have a riddle. Let's have to get to the island first to see what the next step is. I mean, it could very well be the prequel. It could be what created Fireball. Yeah, 
go get some robes. I can't remember if this island is one that... I don't think there's any cannons. I think we're safe. safe until the damn thing erupts. I do have a riddle, so I've never done this one before, so I'll just, uh, we can figure it out together. Once you do one step, then it uh, updates the uh, quest for the next step. Here above ye, see no stars. Seek the bone tree on the north beach and then place some bars. Bone tree, north beach. That's exactly where we're at, actually. Just gotta find the bone tree. Pick this guy. Place some bars. What would be a bar? This guy. What would be this guy? Another uh, riddle, that's cool. Find a torch atop south of this rock, and then take heed. Reading this map is what you need. Why are you shooting me in the face? Show the water who's boss. Okay. Southeast. Find the torch. Look at our cracking compass. Southeast torch. Somewhere visible, so I remember to find it. Good. So I think that's the southeast torch. Let's make sure it's correct. That's correct. Let's go ahead and take down this guy with me because I'm going to come back. I was hoping to find a raft. I don't know why I keep calling a raft. God, it's not Zelda. Robo. No, I really like the graphics in this game. Actually, what I like most about this game is just the, the physics of the waves and the ship. It is so cool. It was sort of like playing Halo 1 back in the day that, yeah, the game was pretty cool, but, oh my god, the vehicle physics. That's like what the game was all about. Putting grenades under your Humvee, whatever it was called, and just blasting into the sky. Oh shit, we got all glowy. 
screenshot of that. I think it was a little late on the screenshot. Alright, what's next? A shallow grave to the south holds secrets untorn. Six paces northwest, dig and find that glory hole. Okay. Shallow grave to the south. I know the definition of a shallow grave. Wait, you see the dead coming out out, out of the ground. Like, what does shallow grave even mean? I guess we can take the boat. Not sure how we're going to turn it at this angle, though. Uh, not sure why they give you a boat that's, like, fucking stuck. Yeah, so a couple things. Like, one, we've kind of violated our couple minute rule, so if there is a ship at a distance that has come into range, we want to know about it, so just really taking a gamble here. And Also, we want to still keep it out for uh, volcanic activity, because uh, if this starts erupting, it could kill my ship really fast. Shallow grave to the south. I mean, we're already south, so it must be... Underground or in the volcano? Because I think we are south. Yeah. It must be like, I'm not sure. I think it's up top. I think we scale that. Yeah, that's what it is. Holy shit! Oh, and I still have a ship there, so that's a plus. Let's see by at range, so maybe we're still okay. Shallow grave. What's that mean? Shallow grave south. You gotta find the grave first. I think we just found the Fireball Island idol. Yeah, as far as treasure quests, I really, even though these are fun, if you're just in it to try to make gold, they're really not the best because you spend so much time just looking around as opposed to doing small islands that are concentrated with treasure chests, picking them up and going. But, uh... Okay, so where does a shallow grave... God damn it. Get out of my way! I'm still going south. 
south, so I think it's kind of here somewhere. So I know how to find it pace-wise, but we need to find a shallow grave first before we can do that. Shallow grave to the south. Think you know where it is in chat? Uh, let me know, because I'm not seeing it. Unless it's... Okay, this is good. Looks like this place is now erupting, so I need to get out of here. I kind of forgot where I put my... Uh... Go. Yeah, Sonny. Stick grave sites. Yeah, if you think you know where the shallow grave is, uh, let me know. Well, then obviously it's to the south, which is a duh. It just, is it under something? Is it atop the volcano? Is it squeezed between something? on my rope anyway, just uh got it. What was the other one? This one was oh Fletcher's rest. Oh yeah, this is bad. Yeah see I'm taking damage because the water's so smoldering hot. Yeah we gotta get out of here like yesterday. We'll, we'll, we'll come back here uh, when it's done erupting. But we are danger close. Gotta get the fuck out of here. You can tell the water that that's uh, super hot because it looks all sulfury. Oh yeah, it's like... We are danger close. These fireballs are like one shot. Yeah, we already took some damage. He may or may not still have a ship. Looks like we did get a direct hit from the fireball. Far so good. something, which we are. Oh, we're just going in circles. That's, that's, that's awesome. That is super awesome. I'm just going to get out of here. Definitely when the volcano's erupting, the safest place to be is actually in what I call the bunker of the ship, or in the hull. Uh, just because, otherwise you can't actually get one shot. It's like getting hit by a dynamite. Get hit by a fireball. I mean, you get hit by a fireball, I'm mean, like, what happens at Fireball Island? You die. I 
think what I'll do, in the interest of time since it's still erupting, is I'll head over to Fletcher's Rest. See if I can't work on that quest and then circle back. Try to find the shallow grave. Where Fletcher's Rest is the original place I didn't want to go. That's great. There we go. We do need a course correct before we go flying off the map. You can go off the map into the shroud. It's just uh The longer you're in it, the more damage you start taking to the, your uh, your ship. You will eventually die. I don't know about scurvy dog, but I do have a kitty in my lap. Hopefully it's not a scurvy kitty. See, this is the red I'm talking about, so we're where we don't want to be. This, this is what the water looks like when you're off the map. So we need to get the uh, out of here. Blood red is bad. Very bad. I mean, it looks cool. Take any damage yet. Alright. Keep this this bearing. Took any damage. Damage. Go ahead and load a couple cannonballs just in case uh, you get any sea monster trouble. You're at the ready five. Actually, I have enough to fight a sea monster, so actually, I'm at the point I actually do want to fight one. But. Head over to Fletcher's. This is Ruby's, it's still erupting. I'll stop after a while, so we'll just venture back. Plus, I don't know where the, where the hell a shallow grave is in the south yet, either. Anyway. Actually, I lost the volcano just stopped. Oh shit! It did! Awesome! Let's go back. You can tell when it actually stopped just because you'll see, uh. There'll be no more smoke. If it's fiery, it could still be shooting, like the one you see to the north of here. But if there's no smoke, then it's out. But the water is still really hot. You see it still looks green, but at least it's safe to get the island. I say that as I'm getting hit by cannibal. Well, that this isn't rubies, actually. Yeah, okay, it is. Gotta plug that hole. So I normally don't go full of bananas when I go out, just because, uh... Now I could pick some up, but I always have a couple on me, but since I know I'm going to take damage from the water, that's so I'm going to go fully wrecked banana. Okay, so where's the shallow grave to the south? The fuck? Like this is the south end of the island. Where the hell is it? Where?
I don't know. The shallow grave to the south. I mean, what does shallow grave even mean? Does it mean like you see the dead body in the ground? It's like, what does that mean? south is in the goddamn volcano. So I'm thinking of dealing go into the volcano or atop the volcano, but oh, it's like, what are you talking about? Unless one of these bodies, but it's like a grave is a grave. Unless they're t actually talking about this guy. Maybe they are. I'll try it. All right, so we gotta go six paces northwest. Right, northwest. I think this is a ride, but I'll look. Yeah, what's cool is when you call hold the compass, when you see me shaking up and down, he counts his paces, so... You know this is a dead body, looks like it fell off, I don't think that's a shallow grave. I don't even know the definition of a shallow grave. Anyway, I don't see it here. Must be somewhere else. Look at that ship. Mm mm mm. That's Campbell's. But I'll look a for a little while longer down some say truck it, because like I really don't know where the shallow grave is. I just don't even know the definition of it. Maybe that's the problem. Does it mean just a dead body on the surface? Unmarked grave. So right now, it's south. Like, I mean, south is the south end is the volcano. I have to be somewhere like right at the volcano. I mean, and then the, the treasure will be super easy to find once I know where the grave is, because then you just go six paces, dig it up. But that's how I really think it's one of these bodies. I just found the person. God, that scared the shit out of me. I thought that was a player. Maybe he knows what he Oh, there's my boat. Just saw a guy. Well, it's a lovely day for not. Burning things. Oh, he's a reformed arsonist, so that makes it okay. It's like you've killed people, but now you're reformed, right? Oh, a grave that's been digged up. Okay. I'll check here, because I haven't checked on the here, but I think this is northwest side of the volcano. Oh. 
Yeah, so like this is southwest. Just the fact that there's a bridge you cross really makes me think that it's uh Possibly this guy. But normally when they say to the south, they mean like. I mean, I. Let's see if I'm northwest from here. It's not a direction I keep go, so it's not that good. But again, that's another reason why I like doing stuff on some flat islands, because you don't have the problem of vertically where the hell you're supposed to go. Alright, so south is right here. And we, we just crossed a plank, and we're going exactly this direction. It's gotta be here. That's not a grave. Oh! Oh, 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 I think I found it. I think this is it. A grave that's looked like it's been digged up. I think it's right here. Okay. Northwest. Six pieces. Ooh, look at that. Look at us solving riddles. Look at us go. Did it, guys. Did it. Yep, so it was like body it was halfway through the ground, shall I? Got it. So I think what I'm going to do in the interest of time is I'm going to turn this in. And then when I turn in, I'll just pick up a couple more quests, just so I have them. And then I'll head to Fletcher's, try to do that one, as much as I hate Fletcher. Of course, that was one we picked up, but it, it was a freebie. We want to head. Actually, we want to head west. I just really don't want to do that. I want to do this riddle. Oh, we're actually pretty close. West, southwest. I have to say, for a bountiful 
blast or whatever the hell it said. It's kind of misleading. I know, like we paid 200 to get something that we're probably going to make 700. So anyway, it's cool to do, but spending that much time just to make 500 gold is yeah, it's not great. But it was cool. But if the if your goal is to just you know money per hour, it's it's better to do the treasure quests and not the uh, the riddle ones for that reason. Like we're by yourself. But we are currently halfway through the stream, so uh, let me know if you want to do a riddle or try to just to go straight for a treasure quest. Uh, let me know. I am gonna pick up some more quests and just. I'll determine whether I try to do another voyage or head over to do a Fletcher. And if I do see a sea monster on the way, I will pursue it because I do have enough stuff to take one out now. But what I'm gunning for is either Kraken or Shrouded Ghost. Just a cool trick I just did that if you uh, turn the wheel when you hit the, uh, the anchor, it works as an e-brake, so you can turn very sharply. So even though it looked like, hey Jarrett, why are you hitting into the cove? You'll never get out. That's why, because I knew I could do that trick. So since this is Ashen, we will get a bonus. That's one of the cool things about doing it out here. Quest is you get more bang for your buck. Because it's more dangerous. Dealing with all the Fireball Island stuff. So the difference in the Ashen price will pay me back for purchasing the voyages. But so I'm ass assuming it'll probably make like 700 gold. So we'll net 500. Alright, so let's get some more supplies right here right quick, and I'll pick up another couple uh, voyages. It'd be cool if I can just get a treasure one, actually. So shoot for that. We'll get some sea monster action on the way. The voyages you pick up from the different merchants. Why not let me invest the gold for you? Okay, we want we definitely want an abundant wealth, so let's do it. And let's see. I don't want to get three only because uh, right pile. Now we have room to pick up another quest from somewhere else. 
can be trusted. Try this. You can only do one voyage at a time, but that way if you get one it's Garbo. It cancel it and do the other one. I don't see any clouds in the sky, so if what I'm told is correct, we are potentially the next target for a uh, sea monster attack. At least a sea monster attack would only happen if there's nothing in the sky. So I do want to look at my voyages, I just don't want to do it here because this is where everybody would turn in. For Devil's Roar, it's the only place. And I don't want to be an easy target. I'm at full health. Yeah, 49 wood, I mean, it's kind of pretty close, but as long as they don't suck, I should be able to do a sea monster if it's it. The volcano's erupting, but I should be barely far enough away that's not a problem, so this is actually a good place. I think he used as cover fire. I just want to be a little farther away from the uh, outpost. This gets hard to see around it, because someone could be approaching from the other side. I've had that happen to me before. Being between volcanoes is always great, just because you know people most likely aren't going to approach you from those angles. Let's do it here. All right, seek riches. Let's see, abundant wealth or a pile of spoils. I mean, this one sounds dirty, so let's do that one. A pile of spoils buried deep inside. Oh god. Ooh, chapter one, so it's serious. Cool. Even better. What that means is once you do one part of the quest, then after you complete it, it'll trigger the second one. Wow, we got two for Fletcher's Rest. Wow, I guess that's where we're going. <laughs> as much as I was hellbent on not going there. Alright. It's in our fate. Wow, two different riddles at the same place. I had this idea that I thought there were just one per island since there were so many islands, but... All right. Of course, it is a big island, so they could do different themey stuff. I suppose. All right. So this that volcano is still angry. So I'll just go between these guys. Definitely kitty in my lap. So sleepy, sleepy. These are sleepy, sleepy. 
Yeah, my cat is definitely a fan of uh, these streams. That's because he knows at clockwork, certain times on certain days, he knows he has guaranteed laughing. Everybody wins. It's like stole, stole no uh, player activity, which is good. That was the whole design. Being so early in the morning, fun events elsewhere, right before kids would go to school, unlikely they would group up. Me by myself. But again, like, this isn't, you know, it just depends what you're doing in the game. Like, if you're doing solo stuff, this is the best time and place to do it. But if you're doing group activity, then it's best to do it in prime time, you know, evenings, uh, on the western side of the world, because then people, you'll find a bunch of people that are trying to get the skeleton stuff. So, and that's stuff you want to group up for. Oh, show. So it's not really like the best place to play the game, but the best place for a uh, solo. That being said, like, this is the worst place to do sea monsters, just because you could get hit by volcanic activity at the same time. I'm just saying that if I were to encounter one, I would throw a cannonball in its face. I am having buyer's remorse so that I didn't get that uh, rowboat it's because if we have a chain quest and two quests on the same island, we, there will be a bunch of treasure. It would have been easier to load. So hopefully we find another rowboat on the island. Which I believe we will because that's what you typically see. But we'll find it. I'm just glad I completed that riddle we did earlier. It's like, come on, that close. Where is the shallow grave? Shop be right behind the volcano. It's too busy sounds just because it'll be hard to see my ship against the volcano from a distance. And also, if there's cannons, people shoot at me. Uh, they're not gonna be able to hit me if I'm on the other side of the, of the volcano. So it's like use it as a shield. It just means that once the island starts shaking, I need to beeline to. Uh, Back to my ship. That's one reason I wish I had a rowboat, because I could have parked right beside it and then rowboated over there. Rowboated. Using a noun as a verb. Right. Let's get to remember what face I'm on. First, the, the, the beat. at least I know I'm. Volcano side, but this won't be so southeast. Okay. This one updated. This one updated. This one says find the broken jetty. Is the jetty 
type of like little ship. And then something on the east. Fire tree and a jet. I'm assuming a jetty is a ship or something. Anyway, I think I found a rowboat. Great. I think that's a rowboat over there. Awesome. So is this a jetty? I'm going to say yes. Or not. I need to look up what a jetty is. Actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna look up jetty. God damn it! After I kill both the skulls. Jetty's a pier. Okay, so I'm looking for a fire tree and a pier. Small pier, is what it said. If that's the case, then it should be on the water, so let's just go around. I see a fire tree on the east. This is the other one. Right now we're just going around the volcano. Fire tree to the east. Fire tree, actually. Oh, fire tree painted on rock. I should like read the entire quest. Fire tree painted on the rock to the east. It's going crazy, but it's far away. Back this. Like, the jetty should be obvious as hell. I don't know why I'm not seeing it. 
should just be like a, a little dock. In any case, we have to get out of here. This place is about to erupt. Ship is in danger. Okay, here's the jetty. Maybe we can sort of remember where this is. This is the west. That's where definitely we have to go. Hey, this is the jetty. I read the map. There we go. I just want to track the next step. So right here. Okay, I need to get to the ship. Then we'll come back. Ship. We need to go because I'm like right by the volcano. It's hard to run during your, your earthquake. So the pier was to the right. I still didn't find the fire tree. But I know that was to the east. One of the good things about being so close to the volcano is since the volcanic activity tends to shoot out, it's the only way we would get hit is if it shot straight up and fell down. So. Let's see if we took any damage. Good. Looks like all day was shake. So maybe another volcano started erupting. This one looks okay. Yep. Okay. Let's head back. Solving riddles today. So I'm just gonna head to the uh, the Jiff Jiffy first, just because that's the easiest one to complete, and that was also the chain quest. If I recall. I'm sure this could be part of one of the riddles. I mean, look at this thing. That's a screaming riddle. So I'll definitely remember this place. Underwater cave. is to the uh, to the north. Okay. But again, we want to go west. Sure, this is something too, part of the riddle. All the way to the west up here. I thought the west was the boat. Oh, because this huge island is actually like multiple little. It's like a connection of islands.
At the campfire to the northeast, prove your worth. Seven pieces. That's right, the guy already picked it up. So we're going to go campfire northeast. Yeah, that's why this is misleading, because it's like it's it's a huge island, but it actually looks up like, looks like it's a bunch of little islands, but it's, it's got some shallow water that goes in between it. The campfire seven paces east by seven. Oh, I thought that was a campfire, that's a lantern. Fire to the northeast. I need to see a camp nor a fire. If this was the campfire, for sake of argument, it would be east by southeast. Which you can't even dig there. East by southeast from the campfire? So it must be further down, in, actually in the island. In the north west direction. Northeast. That doesn't look right.
Anyway, let's try the other one. Fire tree painted on a rock at least. You know what's funny? Like at one point in time, I'm sure I've seen all of these. I just like forget their location. Fire tree painted on a rock to the east. Make sure it's not like one hiding. Again, that's what I'm talking about. Like, doing these riddles is fun, but it's super dangerous because you're at, you're away from your ship for long periods of time. You're not quickly getting treasure, so like, if you're in it for the money, definitely not the way to go. So, this is just because like I haven't really done these before in Devil's Roar and to show you guys, but again, like, trying to make money, stick to tra actual treasure quests that you know Excel map. And uh, preferably small islands. Yeah, I am not seeing it. This one, like, we're so close to getting treasure. Like it's, uh, okay. I'll circle back to this one. At the campfire, go to a campfire northeast. The campfire. So to me, it's. Thinking this place. That's the northeast. I just I didn't see any campfires this thing. That's why I think northeast is this direction. I mean, if there's a campfire, it'd be by the shore, so maybe it's down here. Ooh. It's like... It's like that's it. East by southeast. This direction, seven paces. This whole time, it's like right by my ship. It's crazy. But oh, we got it. This one's worth a lot. It's a captain's chest and it's uh, passion, so definitely gonna turn this in. Now just take us to the next chapter also. So let's get out of here. If I have time I'll circle back and try to do that other one, but Alright, just wasn't seen it. It's on a rock. I, I know. And, and when they, when they do the painting, it's obvious as hell. I just could not find the rock. Let's go, let's go to chapter 2 and hopefully the next chapter is a uh, treasure. Like I said, the riddles are fun, it's cool exploring, and like I'm totally into that, it just... Turn this puppy in and head to the next part of the chapter since I paid for it. Definitely gonna turn this in first just because this is of that high value. Yeah, so now I should have a new quest for the next stage. Which is a treasure quest. Unfortunately it only has one, but it's one it's easy to find because it's on a very small part of the big island. So that'll be easy to, to, to find. Let's go. We're, we're just going to turn in real quick. So if I recall, we want to go south. So hopefully the uh, other islands to the south as well. We want to 
not head toward that volcano. Yeah, it's just a little misleading sometimes, because if they say a direction, that doesn't mean it's on that end of the island, unless they say it's on that end of the island, so it could just be that direction, so... It's probably that same way with the rock, like, it's probably somewhere on the east side, but it may not be necessarily, you know, like, true east. Or it could be, like, east, but below ground, or in the side of a mountain, or atop something. I'll always give you all of the details, you gotta explore a little bit. Okay, so we need to find this island. It's the one with the huge uh, ice cream cone. I believe it's the one at the very bottom. Yep. I believe it's Devil's Thirst. I recall, so we want to go right, right there. So fortunately, that is the direction we're headed. This is more south. I'll do that next. We're finding a lot of cannonballs. Should get a little more wind. This guy's smoking, so it is still active, but it's not fiery, so it's not a immediate threat yet. We are danger close. And now we're now now it's a threat. And like I said, I'm gonna hide in the bunker because it's the safest place while it's going off. Go ahead and get max wood and bananas in case we take damage. Even though we could take some damage in the bunker, we're not going to be insta-killed. But the top deck will be insta-killed by the volcano for one of those. Now we should be relatively okay. see anybody on the island, but since it's a tall island, there could be someone on the other side. So what I'm going to do is, once I jump off the ship, I'm going to go radio silence to turn it in, then come back to the ship, and then I'll be back on audio. Because when I talk, if you're in a certain distance, I like playing a the shark I'm going to ignore, unless it's, it's not. I'm pro shooting sharks, but I really want to turn this in. If I was trying to ghost, I would have immediately gone for it. It's the, the dark one, I forget what it's called. Shadow Moth, I believe. Whereas the hungering one is the blue one. The quest 
between is the purple one. It's more blue. And uh, this one. And this one is also yellow. Green. Name that one. But yeah, I would have totally attacked that fish because it just, uh, and it's a good location too, being near. But. I want to turn this puppy in. Okay, I'm going ra radio sounds. I'll be right back. So now I'm going to head to Devil's Ridge, wherever, wherever it was, southeast of one, do that treasure, and on the way, if I see any sea monster, I'll go after it also. Since we're close to time, do some more fun stuff. So it's that little island to the north west. Little rock, that island. bit. Devil's Thirst. So I'm actually hitting it. I can get it right on actually. I do this right. So I go to left a smidget. There is an active volcano, so that's gonna suck. Hopefully it's far enough away. Let's go a little a little wide. So there was a shark, but when I saw the shark I didn't see anything in the sky, since that's in the sky now. I assume then there's not gonna be sea monsters. So as long as I dodge this volcano, it should be a straight shot. We are kind of danger close, though. I don't know the exact range, I just know. Just a little bit of this.
really like the whole hook effect when you're doing the steering wheel. Pretty cool. I can still make use of my hand. I would just would rather swim a little bit and have my ship just completely destroyed. I have so many supplies. So I'll probably play it safe and be on the east side of the island. Let's traverse over there. on the map because particulars ship should be exactly the right side of the ship Erupting? Are you serious? All right, got played safe. Let's see what's happening. It looks like sometimes when there's the eruption, it could be—it's like a large area, so it could be the island you're on, or it could be an island that's close. So we'll see. Oh, it's this volcano. Oh, that's bad. Shit. It is off the island. Yeah, we gotta go. Come back. They knew I was gonna take the treasure. down below for safety. Go ahead and get some wood so I'm ready. We'll come back. I just, we just want to get far enough away that uh, we we'll die. You see, like, the range of these fireballs are pretty good. You look at that, that almost hit us. We should be fine now. So let's just park here. We'll just wait out the storm. Oh shit, that scared the god, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. But we, yeah, let's attack the shark, since we're about a time. God, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. That was fucking scary. Oh my god. I cannot stress how much that scared me. Oh my god. Man. Fish. I got 
Give me my left. I gotta get it. is we're kind of equal distance from all the volcanoes, so we should be okay. So kill the shark, and then we'll go hit up that volcano. Let's turn into everything. Only because it's on the way. I know it's right there. I just want, you just always want to play it safe. Be prepared. So. I know I may not get on this fast. It's going really fast. Oh, I got it. Good shot. Alright. Definitely have enough supplies for this. We've got to... We're not near... Like I said, we're kind of equal distance from all the volcanoes, so we're good there, too. It's actually good to be kind of close to a volcano, then not just that way you know. Because the volcanoes don't overlap, so if we're near this one, we're safe from the other ones. I don't know where the hell the shark is. Knocked me out of the bunker. It like just like hit me through the window. That's definitely gonna be on my highlight reel. That was kind of crazy. I've always felt like this like you're 100% safe here. Man, knocked me out of the window. You're definitely 100% safe from the crack. Wow, that was crazy. I think I repaired everything, so we can go back up top. Missed that opportunity. Wants to get some shots. He rocks the boat. I hope I'm not close enough to any other volcanoes, but I'm not entirely sure. I thought I was far enough away. right because I got knocked off the boat. I was like, how did I lose time? But we'll make it up right here. I was just sort of like just guessing at his speed where to fire, just shoot blindly. Did work.
unfortunately, where he's hitting me in the corners is really advantageous because that means we're only taking two hold damage. So it's quicker to repair, quicker, more time to DPS. Which means damage per second for those that have not played World of Warcraft. Stay. You know, I take some damage. So what I'll do is after I get all this loot, if I kill him, is I'll head to that island to try to do a pass to pick it up. But if it does volcanic activity or it's not obvious for some reason, then I'm gonna bail because we're gonna get some sweet loot just from killing the shark. So. But I'll definitely do it because it's on the way. Like, and all, you, all it is is you know where to pick it up, and it's a very easy island to. Uh, the one that I have to get. Apparently, that's oh, there's everybody. I got two hits on him. I don't think he actually even bit the boat. He did barely. Yeah. He buried him off target. Looks like we are at time, so for those of you that have joined, uh, thanks for watching. And for those that are sticking around to watch me finish this shark, uh, he should be uh, going down pretty soon because they already got a lot of damage on him. And again, what I'm going to do is uh, loot him, do one pass of the island that I was trying to go to last time, and then uh, turn it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, there'll be another Sea of Thieves um, next Tuesday. And Sunday, I mean Saturday, there's going to be a uh, play Heart of Uprising. I'm going to check that out. That'll be Saturday night, I believe, at 7 o'clock. Probably get another round of attacks because I kind of wasted time uh, with the damage and the uh, being a little distracted from the back rat time. Just go somewhere. Ready for the attack. But no, I'm 
it only takes like eight rounds or something of good DPS or ten, so he should just be about ready to pop. Buddy, there he is. He's going really slow. He's heard it. Yes, he was going slow. That was like the worst time. Like I could have gotten a free shot if I just made sure I had enough cannons on me. That was really bad play. Fuck. That's why you always want to be prepared between uh, attacks, just having everything at the ready. That was a wasted that I could have had another free cannon shot. And that's I just didn't have enough cannonballs on me. So I'm definitely uh mindful of that. So like right now, I just want to make sure this is fly up. up, everything up. Yeah, again, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Ismo. Uh, again, it'll be Sea of Thieves. Uh, next one will be Tuesday, 5 o'clock. And it'll be Hardcore Uprising, Saturday at 7. Kill this guy, head to the island, finish the uh, chain quest we're doing for the gold borders, and then uh, turn it. Got him. Just gonna get a little bit closer because there are sharks. I believe it was toward this, the two pointed rocks. Just gotta wait for the du the body to uh, despawn. There we go. We get as close as we can. Found a grog and all that stuff. Honestly, uh, guys, this stuff is so valuable. I'm just gonna run through this stuff in first. Because, man, we found some great stuff. There was a grog, there was a skull, maybe another chest, maybe a. Uh, I believe I saw some tea also. Two skulls and a tea. And a grog. Wow. Good stuff.
Grog will turn in first if I just... You want to have it easy and accessible to get on and off just because it does make you drunk. So. Looks like it's all the loots. I believe I just got bit by a shark. I thought I did. Weird. Let's get out of here. So I'll end the stream after I turn this in, but I think what, what I will do, just as a player, is after I turn it, I'll go back to the island and just pick up the treasure chest, just because I know it's there. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, that was, that was awesome. Actually, I haven't found that many uh, of the uh, Grog chests, other than the Mercenary Voyage, before. I've only found it, like, once or twice, so... This is a steal. That's why I want to turn it first, just the, for the achievement of turning it in. Um. But... It is worth a lot too. But because it's an achievement item, so that's why it's number one. I want to turn it. We want to go north. Best. As you can see, like the sea monsters, if you just uh, have enough supplies, you can solo them. Just be in a good position that you're kind of not near players. And... Because since you're a sinning duck, while you're fighting, someone could be watching you to prey on you after you kill it to get your loots. Which could still happen, even when I'm trying to return. So I will go radio silence once I get within range of the island. But that's good stuff. I didn't mean to accidentally hit back the Devil's Thirst, but the fact I'm... No, 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 no. I don't want it. No chance. Like I said, I'll, I'll come back after I end the stream to get it, just because I know it's there. And right now, we're probably sitting at... thousand worth of uh, gold right here. So. And I don't even know what type of chest that, that I didn't pick up. You know what I mean? Like, could this be a seafarer? All I know. I don't know how I'm getting turned so far. What the fuck is going on here? Why am I not able to go north? What is going on here? Jesus. You keep pushed.
Looks like no one's on the shore, but again, there could be a small ship on the other side, I wouldn't know. If that's where the docks are, it's possible. I'm going to go radio silence while I turn in my loot, so... Again, thanks for joining. If you hang on this far, and I'll catch you next time.